Get used to hitting from that left leg. We like to start with some chipping exercises where we can get you guys and girls to stand a little bit more weight on that left leg. So just lean onto your left leg and just get used to that club descending to the ground somewhere closer to your left foot than leaning back to your right foot. This will start to move low point. This will start to get your club's angle of attack working down to the golf ball rather than leaning back and lifting. Now, what we can do is we can hit some shots where we just preset. So we can lean left in that setup there. So I now feel like I'm in front of the golf ball. I can see the shaft is leaning forwards as well, which is good for loft. And we're just going to chip a ball away. And you can see I now finish much more forwards. Just a small shot, but the angle of attack on that club is 10.1 degrees down. So that very much got me out in front there. Now, once you feel competent at starting on the left, you want to start pretty 50-50. And then from here, feel that in your backswing, it's going to shift a bit to the right. And from there, there's that shift forwards. And there's your time to deliver the club to the golf ball. Exercises that I'll use on the lesson tee for that. And I'd be lying if concept hadn't just changed for a lot of people. As I said, I think this sport is throwing up a few curveballs as to how that ball goes up in the air. I'd put a rod in between and I'd simply ask them whether they could land that club on that side of the rod. So I like to think of this as a runway and this is the start of the runway and that's the plane. Now I would want that plane to clear that fence quite nicely and land somewhere after the start of that runway. What I would never want is that plane to crash land early and then obviously start working back up or off that runway. So it's nice, simple exercises where you try to feel that you shift, retain some angle in that right wrist, and release the club down to that left side. That will start getting both of those qualities installed into your game. Now, if I could hit balls, what I would do is I'd put an object behind me. Now, back in Beckinsale, we like to use things called impact boards. A bit of perspex, but you could use some card, you could use a towel, um, as long as it sits pretty flush to the ground. And what we like to do is we like to put that perspex board, good kind of two club heads behind the ball so that you can take the club away nicely. And once again, really good feedback on this. So if we were to lean back and kind of flick the wrist out and try and add loft with lean, you'll hear that noise. Now what we would want is no noise. So we're gonna to work to work in front of that, hitting a nice descending blow. Once